I am with a friend that today is the first time I'm meeting him. And um, this kid was somewhere very far in Ghana, very almost outside Ghana, and he was in a hospital and his leg, he had cancer and it was rotten and it was coming all the way to the waist. And if he went above it, he was going to die. I was in Turkey when I had the phone call and they couldn't drive him from there to Kolebu for this operation. So I had to organize a helicopter to go and pick him. On that note, I really want to thank the Ghana Armed Forces for helping me to make this happen. So we lifted him in a helicopter. He had a few days to die, but God saved him. He came to Kolebu, we put the doctors together, and they had a successful surgery to amputate his leg. Uh, his mom is standing right here with me. I want to use this opportunity to thank uh, Kolebu, the doctors here. Although we don't have all the facilities, we are not fully equipped as a country, but I'm very, very excited that they've been able to save this boy's life. And um, I came here today. We've managed to get him a wheelchair, some flowers to meet my friend for the first time. And of course, I've come with a specialist who is a surgeon that we're going to find a leg for him. Prostatic. Prostatic. Prostatic leg. leg. What is it called again? Prostatic. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know much about that, but we're going to make sure that that leg will be replaced. And although it's going to be artificial, I'm just happy that he's alive. And it's for the first time when I saw how painful this thing was with this boy, he was crying. But to see someone whose leg has been amputated and has smiles on his face, it means that he's been relieved. And I'm very happy. I want to thank the mother too for standing by and being strong behind him. You can never use money to measure people's life. You know, for me, one day of someone's life can never be priced. And if someone is 95 years old, we shouldn't think he's going to die tomorrow. So we don't care about them. We're not here to measure life. Life is a gift from God. And we should appreciate that we have it. And if we can help people to save a life for a day or to put a smile on their faces for a minute, let's do whatever it takes to do it. And that's all. I don't think I'm the only one that can help. There are a lot of people out there who are helping and are willing to help. And although I know that we don't have the right hospitals in the rural areas and everything, it's something that we should work hard towards. And we should pray towards a better future, you know, so that tomorrow children like this would sort of have some sort of support if they ever happen to be in this situation. I think that first of all, let's get the boy back at home. Let him realize that he's back to life. Let's get him another leg. Let's have him walking. Now he has a car he's driving. I'm happy for him. You know, once he has a leg and he's walking, who knows, this could be one of our future men. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.